The sound of cold steel slices through the air as members of a Nanaimo club practice ancient moves once mastered by the samurai. The Japanese sword is famous throughout history and has been revered and it's one of the three imperial regalias of Japan. Attired in traditional clothing, Sensei Peter Gunstone and his assistant head instructor, Sue White, stand at the front of a dojo and lead students through a series of actions using a Japanese sword. Iaido is um, specifically the art of drawing the sword out of the, the sheath um, and, and cutting. Um, obviously that, that's not relevant in modern society. Um, so it, it has a, a, a more inner aspect to it now, which is uh, they, they, one term they use is uh, learning to cut the ego. So it's drawing the sword and, and concentrating on inner development. As samurai warriors fought less and less, they developed Aido in order to maintain their martial skills and mastery over their lethal weapon. Our particular school of Muso Jikiden Nation Liu has come down from uh, about 1460 something, I can't remember the exact date, and we have had an unbroken lineage of student to teacher relationships since then. It takes extreme concentration. We have about 63 or 4 different waza. Uh, all in different sects, from kneeling, from walking, from sitting in a, uh, a position that represents sitting in armor. And it's all based from the feet up. If you don't have your proper feet, your body and your sword cannot work. Aido develops mind, body, and spirit. It's, I guess, sort of an inner med meditation kind of system. Um, the, the art is so technical, and you have to concentrate so hard to get it precise uh, that you really can't worry about all the other things going on in your life. The sword is a tool. And in the Aido, um, we not only teach how to use the sword and how to study the art, but it's much deeper than that. We teach compassion. We teach perseverance. We teach patience. Um, there's a number of things that, I, I wouldn't say we teach them specifically, but there's things that are gleaned from studying the art. Um, you'll notice that we, we have no recognition of rank in our dojo. That is based on humility. You can't help but have it affect your everyday life. Aido is, for the most part, performed solo, executing strategies against one or several imaginary rivals. We don't do any sort of free sparring or free fighting. Um, we do some forms where we have um, organized uh, two-person sets where each person knows what the other one's going to do, and, and we use wooden swords. Because we use real swords, uh, we don't do real fighting. Every kata starts with a sheathed sword, followed by a striking or cutting movement, removing the blood from the blade and replacing the sword in the scabbard. The responsibility of modern day Yaido is to pass on the art, the art of the sword, as faithfully as you can. Yaido is sometimes very quiet to watch. You really have to understand the art a little more to really get the depth of, of what's there. It's to, uh, to an onlooker, my wife say it's like watching paint dry, but you know what? I've been doing it 33 years and she still comes and watches. Aido classes are offered through the Nanaimo and Ladysmith Parks and Recreation. In Nanaimo, I'm Annette Lucas.